Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to today's video. So in this video, we're going to show you how we can use the sum x function and the related function in order to multiply values from two different queries or tables in Power BI Visual. So I have here a matrix visual and I already dragged the product name. Let's say I have this data model wherein I have the list of products in one of the tables and then the sales okay, in a, a different table. So I have the product name already as one of the rows and then I'm going to bring in the order quantity okay, coming from another table, sales table. So I'm going to drag it here under values. So now I have the orders okay, per products. I take note that these are from two different tables and it, this is successfully uh, done by Power BI because I already have a data model that will connect the product names okay, to their respective sales in the sales data. If you need more information about how to perform data modeling, we already have videos for that. Okay, I can put it in the description in the comment section uh, below. But uh, for now, let's say that this is already a very good data model where it's already uh, the best possible. So now I want to get the revenue for each of the products. Now I don't have a field for that. Okay, under sales, I only have the order quantity and I don't know how much I really earn. So to solve this, I need to multiply the order quantity and multiply it to the product price. Now take note, that the order quantity is from table two sales and the product price is from table one. So can we multiply fields or values from two different tables in the Power BI using just simple multiplication? So just to show you, I'm going to click this visual and start a new measure. So this will pull up the formula bar where I could type the name of the field that I want to create and start the multiplication. So I sell order quantity, and you will see that I don't have the field okay, for order quantity. I have this measure that I created before, but that's not the column that I want. Okay? I want the column that I have here, which is the order quantity column, which is just a regular column, not a measure. So unfortunately, we cannot perform multiplication of columns okay? uh, if you're just going to do just that, just simple multiplication. You have to use functions. And the function that we need to perform or use for this one is the function SUMX. SUMX is actually like some product in Excel. If you're familiar with that function, it multiplies values from two different rows and adds them. That's why it's SUMX. SUM and then X, sort of like multiply, right? So SUMX, open parenthesis, open parenthesis, and then we identify the table as you can see in the guide it's asking which table to get the data from and there's going to be the sales table table number two so that's the name of the table okay where the order quantity came from comma and then the next is the expression okay this is now the mathematical ex uh, equation that you want to perform so that would be the order quantity times the product price so you will notice that now that i've typed order quantity i'm getting suggestions Okay, like field suggestions for order quantity sales. Unlike the one a while ago wherein I don't have these options being presented to me. So now I have order quantity here. And then I need to multiply it to the product price. So the product price is from a different uh, t table. So I'll just try and type it now. And you will notice that it's not being suggested by... Uh, the DAX formula that we have here. And this is a common rule in Power BI DAX formula. If the formula is not suggesting it, it means you cannot use it. And so better not proceed because it will just go into an error if you force something that is not being suggested to you in DAX. So meaning we cannot multiply product price just like this. And the reason being is because of the sales table being declared as the first argument of sum X the table here limits okay, the available columns that you can use for this formula sum x. I cannot use anything outside that table. However, we can solve this dilemma wherein the column or field is in another table by using the function related. Related function is almost similar to VLOOKUP. 
So it's like we're going to VLOOK up the product name and related will give us okay, the column that we are targeting, any column okay, for that in the entire data model. So you will see that when I open the related function, it's now suggesting almost all the tables or the columns, I mean, in my data model. So that's the power of the related function. So I actually have a separate video focusing on just the related function. Again, I will put that in the comment section in the description of this video. But for now, I have the related function here, and now I'm getting the product price being suggested to me. So therefore, I can proceed with what I want to do. So here we go with product price. So I will tab. And then, of course, they have to close the related function and then close the sumx function as well. So to review this formula, so we have sales, and then um, it's going to be the order quantity times the related product price. And we hit enter, and let Power BI process this new function or new uh, measure that we have. And it's here, total revenue. It seems that I forgot to choose which table I want this uh, measure to be found, so that's fine. Measures can be located in any table or query and it will still work. But if you're a little bit um, obsessive about the organization of your data, then you sh we should have clicked the sales table first and then perform the add new measure. But anyway, just to show you that the position of the measure in the data model doesn't really matter in this case. So I will drag the total revenue measure into my visual now. So I'm going to put it here under the order quantity and you will see that I have the total revenue calculated for me now. So just to check, okay, so this is it, okay, we're actually done. We managed to multiply 234 to the price of all-purpose bike stand, okay, based on the product price column, okay, in the products table, okay, in my data model. If you want to continue with the video for the checking part, okay, thank you for staying. So let's look for all-purpose bike stand in my table. So it's going it should be somewhere here under product name, right? So there we go, all-purpose bike stand. Oops. Okay. All right. Let me click that again, and actually there it is, and then click OK. So the all-purpose bike stand, the price is uh, 159, and I have 234. Okay. So let's get a calculator to see if I got the right answer. So that's 234 times 159. So the answer is 37,206, which is what I got in my uh, Power BI visual. And that's what uh, the sum X related combo okay, can help us with. It can give you values wherein the value is from a multiplication of two columns from different tables and then produce it in your visual. And that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to use the comment section. And if ever this video helped you, we appreciate your comment, your like, and subscribe in the channel. It really helps us okay, seeing that we help people and uh, appreciate what we're doing here so we can produce more videos for you. For now, this is it. Thank you for staying, and I'll see you in the next video.